What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to save viewpoints and create animation using the viewpoints that we have saved in Navisworks Manage 2020. Alright, so let's get started. So by the way, viewpoints, this is actually just a capture of a view. And as you can see here on my window, so I have a saved viewpoints here. So this is where you save all those captured uh, photos or captured angles or views that you have saved in Navisworks. So we call that viewpoints. So how to save a viewpoints in Navisworks. So let's say, for example, this is the view that I want to save. Okay, so I want to save this view so that even if I go to other views, when I click the viewpoints, it will open up that one, that view that I have saved. So let's say, for example, this is the view. So I want to save this view here. So to do that, all you have to do, just go to your save viewpoints and then just right click. And then you can now see there the save viewpoint. It's very simple. So by the way, where is this save viewpoints is located at so let me just close that one and looking at the ribbon tab here so we have the viewpoint so basically that's where you get to save your viewpoint so if you select that you can see that you can save your viewpoint here right so to open up your saved viewpoints dialog box so you just need to go to the view tab and then you go to the windows and then you just need to look for saved viewpoints. So just check that one and then there's now your saved viewpoints. And then you can also go to the viewpoint here if you want to save a viewpoint. All right. Anyway, so let's say for example, this is the view that I would like to save. So all I have to do is to right click here at the blank space and then select viewpoint. Okay, you can name it any name that you like. So let's say for example, I'll just name it one, enter. And I'm going to click here the steering wheel. And then there's the center. So let's say this is where I want to put the center. So I click there. And then I'm going to orbit just like that. And then I'm going to zoom in. Or, of course, you can close that steering wheel. And then you can hold the shift on your keyboard and hold the middle button of your mouse. And then you can move your mouse to orbit your model. So let's say this is another view that I would like to save. So again, I'm just going to right click at the save viewpoints and then select save viewpoint. So that's my number two. Okay, so let me just orbit again. So I'm going to pan my drawing. I'm going to orbit to see this angle here, that one. And then again, right click save viewpoint. So you get the idea. So that's how you do save a viewpoint. So let me just finish up this one, the exterior side. So right click, save viewpoints. So that's my fourth one. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, orbit my model like this. And then I will be using the walk tool here. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to walk. Oops. All right. So the reason why it feels like that it's because of my gravity here it's turned on okay so it's looking for a ground okay so that's why it's fell up so it's not floating because the gravity is turned on so I'm gonna turn off the gravity here and then I'm gonna pan this okay and then I'm just going to zoom in so as you can see if I select again the walk tool and I walk so it will now it will not fall off because there's no gravity but if I start moving, let's say there is a ground below me. So I'm going to select the drop down arrow and then I select the gravity. And then if I walk again, it will fall and then there's my ground. So I actually have a gravity. So let's say I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk towards the building. Oh, by the way, I'm going to turn off the collision here so I can pass through the walls. So I just walk. Okay, so this is one room that I would like to save or view that I would like to save. So right click, save, viewpoint. There's my fifth one. And then I'm going to 
walk to this side here okay and then I will just look around just like this and then I'll right click save viewpoint that's my sixth then I'm gonna walk again okay so let's say I'm gonna walk here and go inside this room here okay walk all right so there's my room and then I'm going to look around okay and then right click again save viewpoint so that's my seventh one so you get the idea so let me just pan this up I'll go to the next level so there's the here's the next level and then let's say I want to save this save so that's my eighth and then I will walk around let's see okay I'll walk just walk here okay here's my ninth viewpoint there's my ninth right click save viewpoint enter and then let's say I want to go to the next level there you go and then I'll just right click again save viewpoint so that's my tenth enter and then I'll go to the top Okay, and then maybe I'm going to orbit like this. Right? So just right click, save viewpoint, and then 11. So if it is uh, saved already, if you go to any view, like for example, this view, and then you want to go to your view number 7. So all you have to do is to go to number 7 viewpoint. So just click that and then you will be going there. That's why it would be better if you're going to put a proper name on the save viewpoint so that you know what is that particular view that you are opening right okay now the next part of the exercise after learning how to save viewpoints is that how to create an animation using the save viewpoints that you have created or that you have saved okay so to do that you can just right click again at the blank space of your saved viewpoints dialog box or window right click and then there is this add animation so you can click that one and then again you can just put a name here and then enter and then the next thing that you're going to do after you put the name is you select all of the viewpoints or you can click one and then you can just drag that oops sorry click one viewpoint and then drag that viewpoint under the animation just like that so you can drag it one by one like this or you can select all the viewpoints at once. You click one, hold the shift, and then click the last viewpoints. And then you just drag it to the animation. And there you go. So you now have an animation. So if you go to the viewpoint, it's now here. Okay, so your animation is already saved here. So there's the animation and then these are the viewpoints, right? Now, to play that animation, so all you have to do is to uh, go to the Animation tab. Make sure the animation that you have saved is selected. So that's the one. And then after that, you can now play it. So just select the animation and then just play it. Oh, hang on. Okay, just like that. It makes sure it looks like this, okay? So make sure it's indented like that, okay? So again, you just need to select all of your viewpoints and then make sure you put it like that. You drag it so that it's indented, okay? All right, so after that, so you just need to select, oh, sorry. You just need to select the animation here that you have saved and then just select the play button. Just click that one and yep, let's try that, play, and there you go. So you now have your animation. So let's try to finish up this one. Okay. So if your animation for you is too fast or 
too slow, you can still edit your animation. I'm going to show that to you once we finish this um, animation. Okay, there you go. So there's a room. There's a room. It's now really fast here because we only selected few um, viewpoints. Okay, there you go. So let's say you want to adjust the animation. Again, go to the animation on your saved viewpoints window right click the animation and then there's edit here select edit and then you can edit the duration here okay so you can uh increase the duration to let's say um uh 120 and then you can also make it a loop playback okay so it's up to you all right, so I'll just make this 60 and then you can loop playback. So you can select OK again, you can play that. So if that animation is already fine to you, it's already now saved here on the viewpoints. Now, if you want to export it to an AVI files, you can just check the export panel here, wherein you can select export animation. OK, so you just click that one and then you can select the source here as your current animation the renderer is autodesk it will take a lot of time if you use autodesk or you can select also viewport and then you select the format here it's jpeg png windows avi which is what i want so i want an avi and then you can add here your frames per second uh value okay the higher the fps the slower the rendering or the exporting, but the nicer the animation or the video if your FPS is uh, higher. But then again, the rendering will become slow. Okay, so once you set up your animation export, just select OK. But I'm not going to do that because it will take a lot of time. Okay, but at least you get the idea. All right, so basically that's how you use your viewpoint and that's how you use or that's how you save your viewpoints and then create an animation and then at the same time you can also export animation all right so that's it for this video so hope you learned something from this one if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day